Scott asks, I recently began to wonder about the devil. What does he get out of gathering souls to burn in eternity? How does his empire operate? Well, Scott, the Bible makes it clear that the devil doesn't hate us for a reason. Uh, he's not doing it for something, um, unless it is the fact that he just loves to have power over us. It's just his nature. He was rebellious and deceptive and a murderer from the beginning. Jesus said this in John 8, 44. When he, talked, when he looked at a bunch of people who he knew were being controlled uh, by devilish thoughts, he said, you are of your father, the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning, and he does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. Whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature. Remember that phrase. For he is a liar and the father of lies. This name is ascribed to Satan, that is the devil, 33 times at least in the New Testament. And it indicates someone who is an accuser or a slanderer, which is exactly what the devil is and what we do when we accuse or slander other people. It says, for example, in Revelation 12, 9, that he slanders God to man, uh, like he did in Genesis 3, when he said, did God really say, maybe you can't trust God, so on and so forth. Um, and he slanders man to God uh, in Job, where he says, oh, you know, of course he follows you. You've blessed him all his life, you know, but, you know, let me have him for a while and he'll curse you. See, he slanders, he slanders uh, man. Um, and so he does want power over us, but he mostly just wants to cause damage. Let me tell you a story. This is, this is a, a good illustration. One day, um, a frog was sitting along the the bank of a river and a scorpion came up and he said, I need to get across the river. Would you take me across the river? And the frog looked at him and said, no. And the scorpion said, why not? He said, because you're a scorpion, you'll sting me. And the frog said, oh no. I mean, so the scorpion said, no, I wouldn't sting you. I mean, please believe me, I, I won't do that. And the frog says, no, you're a scorpion. And the scorpion says, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. If I sting you and I'm on your back, that means I drown too. So please believe me, I'm not going to sting you if you take me across the river. Well, that sounded logical to the frog. So the frog said, okay, hop on. Halfway across the river, scorpion stings him. And as the frog is going down, knowing that the scorpion is going to drown too, he turns around and he says, why did you do that? And the scorpion said, it's just my nature. The devil has the same nature. He just wants to sting. He, he doesn't care about the consequences. He just wants to cause damage.